What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Raymond Tackle Forever. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm back with another video. I'm sharing YouTube information. And this video, you will find it in my playlist, YouTube information. It's something that random lines. I don't, I don't remember the name of this particular playlist by heart, but the playlist will be in the, in the, uh, in the description box of this video. I want to share an email with y'all. I don't know the exact title for this video yet, but I will get it together after I play around on two buddy with different uh, titles, different tags. I received this email yesterday about the video I did called Road Trip Vibe. The email says, I, hi, Raymond Tucker Forever. Our team has reviewed your content and we think you may need to make changes to make sure it doesn't violate our spam, deceptive practices, and scams policy. In the meantime, we made the following content private. Video road trip vibe. We have applied a strike to your channel and if you make changes or if you think we made a mistake, you can request it to make your content public again. However, there may be some instances where YouTube keeps your content private. What locked as private means. Content locked as private won't appear on your channel or in search results and it won't be visible to others users learn more about this work if you have any further questions please feel free to reach out to us here now i'm looking at this email like what in the world our team has reviewed your content and we think you may need to make changes to make sure it doesn't violate our spam deceptive practices and scams policy what in the world going on here? Nothing was spam in my live stream. Nothing was deceptive practices and scam policy. Nothing. I would talk about my life, what was going on in my relationship, what's going on with me and my kid, my children. Talking about the road trip I had. I took from Westchester, Virginia, back to my area, back to the seven cities in Virginia. What in that live stream was was anything concerning spam, deceptive practices, and sp scams policy? Who I was trying to scam? I wasn't trying to scam nobody. I was the whole time on the road trip. I was venting, venting about what's going on, what's currently going on in my life. So how is that considered any of those three things? They name spam, deceptive practices, and scams policy. How is that? You know, and when I clicked on the video and seen this, cause I seen it on the video before I seen it on the seen the email, and I went to clicking on certain things, and as I was clicking on certain things, it said I couldn't request a review. So I went on took it upon myself to go ahead and take the whole video down. Like YouTube is really, YouTube is really chipping. They really make it where we it, it gonna come to the point where we can't speak our mind on nothing. You know, because I wasn't trying to scam scam nobody. Nothing about it is spam. Nothing about it was deceptive. Unless they don't agree with the way I, I, I go about handling things in my everyday life. Other than that, nothing was deceptive. Deceptive practices. You know what I mean? That's just my opinion. Y'all seen the live stream I did. Let me know how y'all feel about this. What, what do y'all see in that, in that live stream with spam, deceptive practices, and scams policy what 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 in that video was deceiving what in that video was spam you know what i mean let me know in the, let me know in the comments let me know in the comments you know so to avoid all trouble i didn't want to, i went on and took the video off youtube you know and went from there i went on and took the video off youtube and like you know what avoid the problem since i can't request a review it says i can but when i went to the bottom of the video and clicked request a, a a formal review by a human that wasn't an option on that on that particular video on that particular live stream i don't want to share that with y'all like youtube have a lot of stuff going on youtube have a lot of different things going on that might need to be looked into you know i can now i can see why a lot of youtube is starting to be on tiktok more and and snapchat and other other sites other Pla other social media platform now i can see why with stuff like this going on now i can see why but 
this is the reason that I took that video down. You know, this is the reason I took that, that live stream down. Road trip vibe. That's the reason I took this live stream down. Um, if you like the video, moment subscribe, like, comment, and share. Most importantly, go through the playlist, YouTube information. I can't remember the exact name of that playlist, but go to that playlist in the description box and check out those other videos on my channel. And if it, if one of them catch your attention, take the time to uh, watch other videos in that playlist. That playlist is titled. I'm gonna go to that playlist now. That playlist is titled entitled YouTube Blogs. So it's six and nine videos in that playlist. Go through if it doesn't catch your attention. Take the time to watch them. Leave me a comment. 